The next question asks me, determine the coordinates of the turning point B. Determine the coordinates of the turning point B. So look at B quickly. I think everybody will know how to find B. This is my B. It is a turning point. How do we find turning points? Make this note on your graph, right? If you're finding turning points, you always work with derivative. You have to find the derivative in order to find the coordinates of B. So now you have the function. Remember, you're not sitting with AX squared anymore. You have 2X cubed minus 2X squared plus what was C? C was negative 10 and what was D? Negative 6. You now have this equation. You found it all by yourself. A was 2, B was negative 2, C was negative 10 and D was negative 6. Now what are we about to do? We're trying to find the coordinates of B. B is a turning point. How do we find turning points? Turning points go with derivative. Okay, so work with the derivative. The derivative is equal to, somebody ask you what does derivative mean? Finding the gradient. 3 times 2 gives me 6. Take away 1 from the exponent. Negative 2 times 2 gives me negative 4. Take away 1 from the exponent. I don't have to say anything here. You know that if it's just x, your derivative is going to be negative 10. What is the derivative of negative 6? 0. Because it is a constant, it doesn't have an x. Once you have your derivative, you need to put the derivative equal to 0. Why? Because we're finding the turning points. Turning point is find your derivative, make your derivative equal to 0, and now we're going to factorize this. But if you look at this, can you see that you can divide straight through by 2? 2 can go into 6, 2 can go into 4, 2 can go into 10. So make your number smaller. Why not? That gives you 3x squared minus 2x minus 5 is equal to naught. I just divided 2 into everything. Now we're going to factorize. It is a trinomial. I have lots of students who say, ma'am, you know, I struggle with trinomial. I really don't know how to do it. Use your formula. X is negative B plus minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC over 2A. For the students who battle with trinomials, just do it quickly. But we can find the trinomial here, everybody. That is 3, that is x, find it with me. This is 5, and this is 1. If your last sign is a negative, your brackets will always get opposite signs. So I'm going to put the plus here, and I'm going to put the minus here. Now you ask me, ma'am, why does the plus and the minus go? Mustn't I put the plus here? You multiply it out. You say you get 3x squared plus 3, minus 5, give me minus 2, and there's your negative 5. So your x's here is 5 over 3, or x is equal to negative 1. Now, which one do you choose? Do you choose the 5 over 3, or do you choose the negative 1? Let's go back to our sketch. Grade 12, you choose the positive 5 over 3. Do you all agree with me? Because this x here is positive. Can you see? You can't go choose the negative 1. You've got it already. You have it already. Now you know I've made no mistakes. So my x coordinate of b is 5 over 3. Now you go and you need the y coordinate. I think everybody knows how to get the y coordinate. I'm not going to just, I'm not going to do it on the calculator. You can go try it at home. You take that x and you just replace every x with 5 over 3. So I am going to say y is equal to 2 open bracket 5 over 3 cubed minus 2 open bracket 
5 over 3 squared. Still with me, everybody? Minus 10, open bracket, 5 over 3 minus 6. And you work that out on your calculator and you can go and find out. When I worked it out, I got negative 18,96. And you can go work it out on your calculator and now you end off your sum. That is negative 18,96. You say, you guys asked me to find the coordinates of B. So the coordinates of B is 5 over 3 and negative 18,96. And there you have the coordinates of B, the turning point. Turning point goes hand in hand with derivative.